to get the first goal here against G2. Already a lovely bump and a demo coming in, but still no luck for Casey so far. Atomic lays it on a plate to j oh and that my. is what you have to love about G2 and Atomic. Yeah, the classic play, these two up front. If you've given Atomic space, he's going to make something out of it, and he does exactly that, finding j in the It's not always base. clean. It's not always the purest strike you can have. Sometimes in the case of Atomic, it's just laying Ooh. it sideways, but Nolly slowing the game down himself, early equalizer. And he likes to do this a lot. Nolly, if you give him some space alone, he's going to make even more damage than what we saw previously on the side of G2. This one all by himself, around one player, so that's and into the back. Long and we're struggling to find any team really getting some clean opportunity. Yeah, there it is. And as oh, I say, that oh. Atomic gets a really clean opportunity, and it's 2 one G2. I was a little bit scared with this follow-up on the way he got a piece of this ball afterwards. One of the best 50 you could ask for, but then this shot right here <laughs> bit floppy. absolutely terrified me. But he still found it. And G2 with since that good then of a... have just pretty much taken down yeah. everyone in their path. Everything seems to work for Ooh. Atomic. He never Ooh. misses. He's constantly putting it in. Oh, my word. This is why Bates said he's got the best mechanics in the world. Oh. And he's just nailing this one home off the backboard. The double tap. And he finds it 3-1 to life. G2. saw Nolly with that lovely solo play. And other than that, a couple of great attempts off the backboard, but it felt like G2 were testing the defense more. I think you have more. to expect the unexpected, not go for the clean version of Rocket League and assume that's going to happen. Yeah. Try a few things yourself. Oh. Get a flip reset into the bottom corner. Do you know what, Turtle? That'll change things. Expect the unexpected indeed, and nobody saw this flip reset coming out from Nolly. Maybe an early touch off the backboard, maybe a double tap. Nope, you get a flip reset Flashy into the back style. Of the you immediately forget about the first game, about any... Uh, you know, drought you could have oh. been in, and you continue to pop off. And so far, it's only been Nolly. Yeah, this is the Nolly show right now for oh Kami. Oh, Chicago. Look at him going on that far one. Nolly just knows exactly what's happening. And what's beautiful as well for KC is that his next two. touch is only as far as j -Nap, so that can put some G2 pressure on things. Attachee's clearance not great either. Nolly's Ooh. touch weird. What on earth? Ooh. I can't mean Cork doing a defense. They had about four chances yeah. to do that. And to me, it looked like a panicked clear from Nolly. He had a lot of space here. Nobody was pressuring yeah. him, but he just immediately panicked, flipped into the ball early, and that's what G2 like to do. They want to surround you, make you uh, really complete redeem. Really that rust off. But he's been tackled this time. Chicago has a couple of plays to Chicago? aim for pass. Astro Woo! Nolly is just completely surprised by Chicago, who equalizes for G2. And it's Chicago by himself off the midfield pass here from Atomic, but it was Chicago who was able to get past two oh, players. Oh, he oh. took out the last oh. one. Nolly knocked to the side. Everybody's oh, finding a way to rotate out. Almost a solo play from Chicago, but they're still doing damage on offense. And then connecting. Oh! With the pass into the midfield, it's Chicago. How quickly the series turns around. Carmine Corp had got a foothold, made him better oh themselves my. in this series. One goal to turn it around, then Chicago with his bump, and then the OT. What a finish that yeah. was from Chicago again. We're talking so much about Atomic, but his oh, finish is goal. They always seem to have a plan with each and every touch. It causes oh, more and more word. damage. This could be the lead. Yes, it is. How does this ball keep finding its way in that KC net? And I'm going to match your point. G2 Esports, they always have two or three touches planned out ahead of them. That's how you see this ball continuously. Yet again for G2 Esports, oh. Chicago. Good first touch, but Nolly has met it. Okay. What's he going to do with it? He was so hot at the start of this series. That's it. He's hot again. He sets up Astral, and there is the equalizer. They waited until the last 30 seconds to finally find the answer and get the tiebreaker. It's Astral popping off through a couple of mechanical nice wins early. Maybe of this game, Astral, and he still has those capabilities. Is that what? rolling all the way in? Oh, yes, it is from the kickoff. How on word. earth have Garmin and Corp achieved this? Oh, I'm getting flashbacks from G2 against Queso. Oh, what yeah. is going on? The kickoff, where you going? Where's the cheat happening from G2 There's Esports? It, he's been so hot, he's been so consistent, oh but he couldn't quite get the equalizer attached. He wants to put it down. Atomic catches it into the corner. Right, there's Jaynax a chance. Is moving forward. Brilliant movement again from G2, but Astral has seen enough. It's still kept up there from Chicago at zero seconds. All this ball has to do is touch the floor, and Carmine could get their first game, but it's not oh. happening. Atomic almost keeps it up a little bit longer, but Carmine plays. Corp, we've got K Corp looking strong within the first minute. Yeah, looking like they believe it right now. More fireworks come raining in Itachi, though. Can just wait oh and watch and set it oh on the plate, and Nolly is going to put it away. Carmine Corp have the lead. And this looks like the K Corp that destroyed Furia. We got some demos, we got some fireworks, and some aggression. There was one demo from G2 against K Corp, but the He's rotation kind of broke. Me. So much now. Wow. Nolly's coming in. Astral's Look already the up as well. They're on free jumping. Woo! It's working. Coming, Corp have doubled their lead. Uh, I wanted to see them utilize each other more often. And this is what I get. I'm happy. Oh. Everybody touching it. Astral pre jumping off the backboard. The double tapping in. Two to but here we go. 
looking to add to their tally and get a third one. A minute and 30 left, G2 Esports, the demo might lead the way, and it does. There were hints of this earlier on when Itachi was almost caught. This time they did not get yep. away with it, watch this. The man is rotating Ooh. back. He's no longer rotating Take back. Take him out. He like can't quite get out. there. Obviously, it's going to be difficult. Your boost is getting taken. But maybe the third goal will give you some confidence. I absolutely love this from Itachi. I'm not sure. Yeah, that touch there would have been so tempting right. to put that one on target. Right. I believe at the start of this series, they would have. They've taken literally a leaf out of oh G2 my. Esports' book. Send it high instead Team of down. Giving them the security oh. of a two-goal lead. G2 oh. Esports, the bicycle kick. It's Chicago putting in work. That is... Utterly brilliant oh, right there word. from Chicago. Just wait for this. <laughs> oh, it's actually an Astral. No chance. I'm still going to have a couple of new esports. I've always got something up there. What screen, is this but kick Astral, off? Astral, Astral's what is this back. Astral, right, right. You're uh, that coach, Turtle. You're a pro player, you know. Talk us through this kickoff. What do you mean? What, what, what is there to talk about? about? Just, it's the cheating. How does that make you feel? Whoever, I'm not even sure. I'm like losing. There is still like 20 seconds. A goal hit from G2 might make things interesting, but it's not going to happen. Astral, can you get yourself a flip reset for the road? Yes, Ooh. you can. Astral <laughs> is amazing. We just saw a bicycle kick, but now check this out. A flip reset on the other side. There's all this space in the world for Astral Love it. to make things work. And it's routine. Not the flashiest one, but still nice. How Come on, this for? I cannot wait. Um, I mean, I've, I've never cast it in front of a crowd myself, oh, so dude. I am like, you know, I'm like, no I'm boost, but with that touch from JNAPS, they're going down the other side of the field. Here's Atomic, gets a couple of touches oh, to the back wall. Oh, Nolly's following up, and Nolly can't get there. JNAPS prods it home. Wow. G2 take first blood. And notice how JNAPS actually follows up Atomic. He got the flick all the way out to get the transition, and then continues to shadow Atomic, knowing Nolly and trust. behind him. JNAPS is just following him, staring at him, trying to play him. Gets Over the one. flick past him, gets the flick into the top left corner. G2 Esports get two. They got some security almost at the halfway point. Now the only issue after this lovely 1v1 flick is going to be the kickoff. Uh, what do we see out of G2? Oh the second man is still be better than what happened away. before, though. I, I'd be happy with this. We've had in this game have led to opportunities oh and straight away from a demo. G2 Esports just cannot keep control of the ball from the open play. And this did start from the kickoff. You see a lot of pressure. Then a demo comes through, and it's a wide open net with the nice space, but they won't be able to do it. Right now, attached to the scene. Huge bumped. bump, Nolly's there! Ooh. Can he get the finish? Yes, he can! Carmine Corp just will not die! It's all about the physical play for Carmine Corp. You take oh. him out, and Nolly is in position to punish. I mean, again, that shot, again, that was not Atomic. The... Astral there in the corner now. He's got boost to play with. Atomic's not going to get this one. He just wants a button. Nolly oh, that's shoots! In. Nolly gets it on target! Carmine Corp have this series in the palm of their hand! A disaster from G2 who led the majority of this oh, game. You've got two players in the same spot rotating back. A little bit of luck back. from the kickoff. Oh, Will it work out that's for it. him? It falls back to right. Janaps. It's good. He's got some boost. Atomic is there. He wants to pop on oh. Nolly! And a G2 do get themselves back! It's all about the kick. Off. They learned it. from their mistake. Yeah. It's a back right kickoff, beautifully done, right to JNAPS, and a One shot on target. Across in the air, in front of the net, but Astral's going to keep oh. coming forward. A couple of touches again. Chicago they keep going. beating the ball away, but now it's That's Nolly, it. and Nolly's going to sink it into the bottom left corner. EU have their win against NA, and KC have their moment. And it's not just North America, it's the Winter Major Champions who have been knocked down into the lower bracket. That All is... All right, welcome back here down to the Oasis. We have, I guess, the marathon winners, I guess we could say. I mean, a fantastic game five, pushing it to overtime. You you, you got kickoff, kickoffs on kickoffs, goals on goals. Tell me about the journey back from 0-2 to 3-2. I have no words. Like uh, this is incredible. Uh, winning the, the this G2 series was big for us, and uh, I, I was playing so bad the first game. I was so mad at myself, and then I tried to turn back, and looked like it worked. I mean, absolutely incredible performance from you, Astral, you, Itachi, you, Nolly. This was a true team effort. I mean, if you look at my notes, I have all three of your names on here because each one of you had great individual performances, but. You also had a great team performance. Talk to me about after game two, what are the comms like? What are you guys telling each other to just kind of just say, okay, we're still in this? It's all in the head. Like we we are here against G2. Even if we lose zero true, like it's in the head. We have to keep the mental and what that's what we did. We discussed about it and we made the reverse replay. So how do you pick yourself up there from zero to? Was there anything that was said? We talked about this when we first interviewed you. 
Is there a turning point? Is there a play that's being made that's causing the change? Uh, is there something that's being said? We got to focus on rotations. We got to focus on something else. Anything like that? You want to? Yeah. Want? Like we knew we were better than them. Like the second game, they they won it, but like we were, we just choked. And this the, the the third game, we won with the kick of wood. It was like we deserved that because we we, the, the, we choked the last one. And we didn't really discuss about the any strategy. It's all about the the mental. Like we know we are good. We know we are better than them today. And we just had to, to keep the mental straight. This is all confidence, Subi. It's incredible how much confidence is just oozing from all these guys, especially you two coming into your first live event. It's it's absolutely incredible. And Nolly, it, I mean, you've been bottling up the emotions, it feels like. You were so excited getting off the stage. You come up, you're trying to stay straight-faced, look like a stone-cold killer. But, but tell me, what's going through your mind right now? Talk to me about just the emotions you're having right now. Like, I underestimated G2 in scrims, they went the greatest and, and the first two games they kind of proved that you know they're, they're a major winning team for a reason. Like I'm honestly just so grateful to be on KC with these two and, and Eversax, like, there's, there's not, not much more that I want and, um, and hopefully we can go all the way. I mean this has to feel like redemption for all of you. I mean all of you, we've talked about how much potential each one of you individually have and now the fact that you've kind of found each other, it's got to feel so good and, and boys, I don't know if you know this, but you're going to be playing in front of a packed copper box. Absolutely packed. Oh my gosh, what, I mean, any of you, has it hit you yet? No, definitely not. <laughs> um, Is it hitting you right now? No, not really. I'm super happy to be there because I miss the LAN uh, and the crowd so much. And being able to play on this amazing venue will be like a, a good memory. Like I can't wait to be to, to be in two days, like three days, I think. Two. I forgot, but I, I, Saturday. <laughs> I don't mean to put some pressure on you, but you guys are the only European team left in the upper bracket. That's right. Home field advantage is all yours, boys. That's got to feel crazy. This arena is going to be jumping. Uh, I can't, I can't wait, wait. I've heard so many stories from the guys that, that was here last time, whether as a spectator or as a caster, host. They've been telling me great stories. And we have sold, what, double the amount of tickets this time around? It's going to be jumping. I, I'm so excited. I, I'm going to bring earplugs. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm an old man. It's going to ruin my hearing. But I can't wait because you're going to be able to feel the fans. And, and for you guys sitting up there on that stage, have you thought about have you given them any insight on how to play in front of a crowd? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not at all. I, I'm letting, it, letting them the surprise to, to feel the crowd. And I know these guys don't really play on pressure. So it won't change anything from playing here on the, or on stage with the crowd. So it will just be a good, uh, good experience for them too. All right. Confidence is ever. It, it really is. It really carries you through everything. But I know these guys want to get out of here. Go celebrate with their fellow Europeans. I mean... All of them were so happy for him. It's such a good thing to see. But don't go anywhere. We have one final match left today. It's going to be FaZe Clan going up against Falcons.